Welcome back to another video guys, Vinny here. Today we are 19 days out exactly, so just about three weeks. I'm um, gonna be showing you guys a day in the life of three weeks out on a normal diet that my coach has me doing. So last video was the refeed diet, so if you guys wanna see that, I'll put the link in the description for that. That was a very fun day. High carb day is always fun. But today is the normal like calories that we get in and normal meals we get in, so it's not a lot, but I'll show you guys that. Um, it is currently 7.30 in the morning. I have not eaten or drinking anything. Um, so we gotta go do cardio. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me, show you to do that. But first off, we're gonna be doing some posing. So I'm gonna show you guys a little physique update. And then after posing, I'm gonna be doing the morning routine that I do before we go do cardio. And then I have to do abs after cardio and then finally come home. So I'll show you guys a little physique update right now. And usually what I do, it's kind of funny, but I'm in my posing things right now, but I usually just put a mirror here because like if I have to do like photos in the morning by myself, like I set my phone up um, and then it's hard for me to like do the 10 seconds and like really try to get my mind swallowed. Set my phone up, hit the 10 seconds, get over here and then hold a pose. But if you don't have like a camera, like a camera showing you what you're doing or like it's just better to pose with with like a mirror it kind of helps i think so if you guys ever do pose or like practice posing do it with a mirror um you can get a freaking mirror anywhere so but all right guys let's get this posing done and then let's get this morning routine done because i am freaking starving and thirsty so we get to have some water in a second so let's get to it i forgot to mention that if you guys are posing the best thing you can look for is natural lighting but it just got done raining so the lighting outside isn't great um, but I've been using this ring light when it's kind of dull and like disgusting outside or like when it's really early in the morning Best lighting. I mean my kitchen lighting is alright, but if you add this it like, makes it really better So you want to find that unnatty lighting for your photos or videos You guys the back so i showed you like three or four poses didn't want to show you guys the back because i'm waiting for show day um but i'm out of breath uh, but i was gonna show you guys how much i weighed so every day i weigh myself so i am 178 so that's crazy the camera probably weighs like a pound so i am usually 170 like 77.5 178 um, some mornings, so I've been cutting water at like, like nine. So I don't drink any water past nine. And I found that to really help me. And like in the morning, I'll wake up way better. So it just helps me not look bloated in the morning. All right guys, so posing and the weigh-ins are done. So now it is time for the first morning routine that I do. You guys definitely saw it in the last video, but I'm just gonna show it to you now. So let me put the camera down and grab all my stuff. First morning ritual is a hot glass of water, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and then one half of lemon squeeze into this. Now, get this popped into the microwave real quick. Last video I showed you guys this in the morning routine. So here it is again, I do this every single day. Um, so it's just a half of a lemon, and you take a glass of water, heat it up for about like 45 seconds. I mean, just you don't want it too hot, but you want it like warm. So you squeeze the lemon, into this and it doesn't matter what you do first like really because it's all going down so you do that then you take the apple cider vinegar make sure you shake it and then you do just a tablespoon all right guys so there you have it the concoction of this morning so i mentioned in the last video so if any of you guys haven't seen that video or you guys are new to the channel, uh, subscribe by the way. Uh, what this is, is it's just basically good for gut health and it helps with your, like, your digestion. So I drink this once a day, every morning fasted like I am now, showing you guys basically everything I do to the T. All right guys, so the second morning routine is going to be a fat burner. So Raw Nutrition is my supplement brand that I use. So. If you guys want, I have a discount code. Use code ENZO, E-N-Z-O, 
gets you 10% off your order, guys. So it ends up at the end of checkout. So appreciate it if you guys do use the code. So what this is, it's raw burn. So they have two fat burners, one in pill form, and then this one, which is a powdered form, which I recommend. Um, it only has 130 milligrams of caffeine, and all that caffeine is from green tea. So I'm not a big, huge caffeine fan, so I don't like to use caffeine a lot. Even in pre-workout, I only do usually like one scoop, not even a full scoop sometimes. So what we'll be doing is mixing this into some water, shaking it. You gotta drink it quick because there's yohimbine in there which is gonna make it a little thick. So you wanna drink it as quick as you can, that's why I'm not doing it yet. But we're gonna bring this with us and I'm gonna drink it on the way to the gym. It's about a 10, 15 minute drive to the gym. And then we got cardio. So my favorite part of the day. We just got to the gym and we're doing Stairmaster, so it's my baby. So we got this, I like it cause it's in the corner. So I get to do it in my little dungeon of a dark place, so. We got, we got 35 minutes, so we're gonna kill it. We go hard as shit, so it's like, we go to at least like nine to 10 to 11, so it's fucking ass, but you gotta do what you gotta do, and I, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I do cardio or like arm day, I like to listen to like old school like rock, so we got some Van Halen on right now, so let's get to this cardio, guys, and then we'll see you guys back in the house. got home from cardio and abs so gonna get this whole water down in the next like two hours um, but our breakfast meal of the day is two whole eggs six egg whites and then 50 grams of oats and then I dash some cinnamon on there so gonna get this down guys and it's 10 30 so I have to eat in three hours again so I'm, I might be training off of three meals today because it's a death wish training at Crunch on a Monday, anywhere past four. So if I eat now, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, then 2.30, 3.30, 4.30, I might have to train on two meals then if that's the case. So next meal might be pre-workout meal or it might be our just second meal of the day. So I'll see you guys then. I'm gonna down this, I'm starving, and then I'm gonna shower and just relax for like the next three hours. Just finished up with breakfast, guys. Uh, forgot to show you last time, but gonna be showing you guys the pills that I take. So it is pill time, pill popping time. So first pill we're gonna be taking, I'm pretty much low on it, is some magnesium. Let me grab some. Let me take some D3 pills. I don't know if it's like focusing. Hopefully it's focusing. You don't really need to see. But then we have some zinc some fish oil. Another funny thing that I was gonna mention, raw burn, I'm just like still like sweating. I don't know if it's just because I just had like some carbs from like my breakfast, but I don't know, I'm I'm like sweating, so I'm not gonna shower just yet, I gotta get these down, but you gotta do the fish oil pill now, ashwagandha, so just reduces stress and like when your like body and like is like under a lot of stress and like mentally and honestly like, like Muscle wise, I, I've been finding this pretty, it helps a lot. I mean, it's not a big dosage, but. And then last is a probiotic. So, about that. That was done with pills. I gotta finish up a little bit more of the water. We try to drink at least, like, it's now 10.50, so it's been like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, so I'm doing pretty good. I try to get this down like an hour to two hours, and then See so you guys, I decided that we're gonna be training a little earlier today, so we'll be training off two meals. So I'll see you guys at one. All right guys, so it is currently one o'clock. Took like a 25 minute nap, wasn't the greatest, but felt good. So what we have here is seven ounces of lean beef and 100 grams of white rice. Added a little bit of mustard just to help flavor. Today at the gym, we're gonna be hitting a push workout, which you guys will be seeing here soon. I'm gonna eat this, wait like 35 minutes, and then get ready to head to the gym. So we're gonna be doing some chest, shoulders, and tries today. Gonna be doing a lot of cables and machines, steering away from doing free weight because don't wanna hurt myself or get injured. Um, but yeah, basically all now and like for the next three weeks is gonna be machines and just like pumping blood to the muscle, you know? Really focusing on that mind to muscle connection, getting a pump and maintaining a pump. So. And I like to pose after my workouts as well, just to really squeeze the muscle and hold some certain poses that I'm not too good at. So you guys will see that 
right now. I'm gonna get this down. Hope you guys enjoy the workout and I'll see you guys after the gym. Thought I'd change it up a little bit guys and do a voiceover for this push workout. Right now showing you guys what we are taking for the pre-workout stack. So we are taking one scoop of raw pump and then we are going to be taking one scoop of the Thavage Miami Vice flavor limited stock. So if you guys want any of the supplements, code Enzo gets you 10% off at rawnutrition.com. First up, guys, we have the pec deck. So we're going to be doing 10 to 15 reps, four sets, really trying to work up in weight if we can, not trying to put too much weight to where we can't do a full like range of motion because at this point of prep, guys, not trying to get injured and just really trying to focus on the mind and muscle and pushing as much blood as we can to that muscle, really focusing on that connection. So next up, we have a incline kind of press. It's like mid upper chest press. I don't really know what you would call this seated chest press machine. I don't know, but I really like this machine, guys. Same thing. We're going to be aiming for 10 to 15 reps. Now this we do four sets and we try to work up as much weight as we can and get that full range of motion. Up next, guys, we have the incline bench machine. A lot of crunches don't have this, but I really tend to like this machine. Um, same thing, guys. Really trying to push as many reps as we can, focusing on the top movement, trying to get a full range of motion, if not push out partials. Um, this definitely kills, especially trying to get a working set of 10 to 15. So really enjoy this workout. Really enjoy that machine. So now we're going to be doing our first shoulder movement so you guys see i'm sitting down i always and always focus on just getting a good set and a good form to start these off working up to a hard set of 10 this is what i start with every time i hit shoulders guys and then next up we have the shoulder press you could say so seated shoulder press i know i said that we're not doing a lot of compound movements but guys their shoulder press machine at crunch is dog shit so we're going to be doing this. I only have 25s on each side, guys, focusing on getting 10 to 12 reps, four sets, just trying to squeeze and push through. At this point of the workout, guys, I'm definitely shot. And then next up, we have some front dumbbell raises. So I honestly, one of my top favorite shoulder movements right here, guys, really just trying to not cross over the body too much and trying to get it at least over your head is what I like to tend to do. And then guys... After that, we have our triceps. So with a lot of tricep movements, I see a lot of people always trying to go very quickly. Now you guys see here, I'm going slow as I can. Even if you're doing not that much weight, guys, get that full range of motion or else your triceps aren't going to grow. That's my number one tip I could give you guys. Next up, we have the cable fly. One of my favorite chest exercises to do. We tried to focus on 10 to 15, but honestly, if you're feeling good enough, push the weight up and do more. You can go very heavy on this, but for me, I'm going very light. Last workout of the day, guys, we have bodyweight dips. Not my favorite thing to do, but be very careful. The more forward you lean, the more chest you're going to hit. The more upward you lean, the more tricep. Try to implementing these in your next workout. So this is our post-workout meal. It is 7 ounces of turkey and 200 grams of broccoli, so... Gonna eat this, I'm starving. It is five, so it's been a while, you know, posing and everything took a while, so. But my chest is sore. I'm about almost done with my third 1.5 liter of water, so um, my last meal tonight's gonna be at nine, so just on the verge of going past my time, so that's also good. Gonna get this down, guys, I'm starving, and I'll pick up the camera soon. So it is currently 7 p.m. I am exhausted. Um, I think for the past hour and a half, I, I was I'm starving. And this is the second to last meal. And then we wait another two hours. And then we have our final meal for the day. So this is a regular diet that I've been following for pretty, it's been a while. So we, we change something sometimes, but this is meal four. So this would usually be my meal number two, but since um, I had off work today, of course, I was able to train early, so we only had to train off of two meals. So this is usually meal two. It's six ounces of chicken and 200 grams of broccoli. So, and as you guys can see, it ain't that big of a piece of chicken. So I'm starving, guys. 
At our last meal, I put a questionnaire up on my... I can't even speak right now. Uh, at our last meal, guys, I put a questionnaire on my Instagram story. So, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, just literally look up at Vinny Menno. And I got a bunch of questions that I just was saying, ask me some questions. So, that's what a questionnaire is, Vinny. So, I'm out of it. I'm starving. Um, so... At 9, we're going to have our last meal, and after, we're going to be doing a questionnaire. So, like a little Q&A. So, alright guys, I'm going to kill this because I'm starving, and I'll see you guys in like two hours. We're at the last meal of the night, so it is 9 p.m. I'm exhausted. Um, I'm going to eat this, and then we're going to answer uh, some questions. I'm not going to answer a lot, but I'll do like, like 7 or 10. I don't know. I'm just exhausted. I'm... After I eat this, I'm going to knock out. So you guys are lucky you're getting any questions from me. So I'm going to eat this, and then I'm going to pick the camera back up. I'm going to answer some questions for you guys that you guys asked me. All right, guys. So it is currently the next day. I, like, totally forgot. I ate that last meal, and I passed out. So I'm sorry. We'll do the Q&A another day. But I have work at 9, and I have to get up now because... I have to do check-ins and then uh, I gotta go do cardio. So I'm just gonna head out early so I don't be late because I gotta bring all my stuff. But I do feel sorry about the questionnaire stuff. So we'll do a Q&A next video. But I gotta do check-ins right now. So other than that, guys, appreciate you guys watching the video. That'll be it. So I'll see you guys next time.